Hello everyone, Sean Mancini here. So I've been away for uh, for a while, I haven't been able to post uh, a lot of new content, but uh, I'm back uh, trying to establish a new schedule to release more content uh, to help you out. Um, so one thing uh, that I get asked a lot is how to import templates into Cacti uh, or to expand its function. Uh, so Cacti out of the box is great for monitoring routers and switches. Um, especially Cisco devices because the default templates mo monitor interface stats. Now the thing is is that you uh, well Cacti is uh, much more powerful than that. Uh, it can monitor a lot more things. Uh, it's just that you need to expand those functions using customized templates. Now you can go about this one of two ways. One if you are willing to you can create a template your own um, uh, it's just an XML file that you create with uh, the SNMP OIDs uh, and you can follow even the default templates to expand what you're looking for or go to for, uh, to the Cacti forums, uh, cacti.net or forums.cacti.net, something like that um, and download the community contributed ones and the list is pretty expansive. Uh, and, and for most telecom equipment or for most uh, LAN equipment that's well known, I'm, I can almost guarantee you that there's a template out there that you can easily just download, follow this tutorial on how to import it, and away you go. Uh, so I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to do that. So I have a template here that I created myself that uh, monitors interface duplex settings. Um, you'd be surprised, but uh, in, in the telecom world, when we deliver services to customers' equipment, <clears throat> sorry, into customers' uh, locations, uh, we normally standardize it by having a port go into you know uh, the default auto negotiate. Now, uh, on the customer end or on the user end, uh, a vast range of things happen. Uh, you can have uh, a piece of equipment hard-coded to 100 meg full duplex and we're set to auto which causes all sorts of things. Um, typically a port will go into half duplex mode and there'll be errors and all these things. So even a port that's in half duplex that has no errors on it uh, you want to get to that as soon as possible because we want to correct that before it becomes a problem. So it gets into the proactive monitoring. So it's just another data point that you can use. Um, so typically you have a twofold. One, monitoring for errors on the port. But two, if we can monitor and say, hey, you know, this particular port uh, is not set up properly, we can tell that too. And you can do that all within Cacti. So, to do this, uh, all we got to do is import a couple files to the GUI and then one file onto the server. So, uh, we'll start with the template files. In order to do that, go over to the GUI, import, import template. And I already have these files on my computer. So, we will do, the first one is a graph template. Next one is a data data source template. And then one more is the query itself. So a uh, brief explanation as to what this is. Uh, you can break it down as first file is the graph template. So how the graph looks, uh, the data within the graph. Second one is the data source. So under the graph, we have the data source that uh, processes that uh, particular um, point, uh, like th that particular OID. Uh, so it uses the, the polar and um, tells the polar, hey, um, <clears throat> uh, we need this data. And then the data query itself calls on to the XML file that's on the server to actually do the work. So this particular file, this duplex.xml file is 
pretty much where all the magic happens. Um, so there's one field in here, uh, interface duplex, that we put the OID in uh, this XML format, and uh, that will then call out to the device, return a value. Now, um, this particular uh, file, there's nothing actually really special uh, or advanced per se on this. So this is the interface XML file that's already included uh, by Cacti. So all I did was just modify that, add an additional field, put the OID that I'm interested in, and um, even if you wanted to, you could just copy this and put it into the standard interfaces.xml file. But I like to keep myself separate, the customization stuff that I did. Uh, number one, because that file, the interfaces.xml file, at any time can be changed during updates. Uh, and you don't want to always have to go back and um, make sure that field is there. Um, number two, uh, if something goes wrong, you don't want to knock all these things off, right? Uh, especially when you're doing uh, something custom that's outside of the of the cacti uh, supported files. So that's just me. If you want, again, you can uh, do what your heart wants you to do, or whatever like that. Um, but anyways, now. We go over to the actual server itself. Uh, if I can only get to the proper window now. Um, I've already done the work and uh, by copying the copying the file over. So uh, you'll find a file duplex.xml. Okay, so that's just out of these files here. So on GitHub, if you're using my particular um, if you're using my particular uh, template, you could just download the raw file here, download it onto the server, copy and paste it, whichever one you want. And now, once you've done that, there's a couple things we want to check. So the first one is under data collection, data queries, there should be a new query called duplex. Okay, which is there. Click on that, make sure the server can read the XML file. That's great. So that worked. Next is management in graphs. Ah, uh, sorry, duplex. Uh, sorry, templates in graphs, and search for duplex, and then you'll see that there's a new uh, graph template uh, interface duplex. So that's great. Now let's now let's test this out. So I, I have a device that this OID uh, is supported on. Uh, that's another one. You can't just use templates on anything. Uh, for instance, these are two Cisco devices. Um, this is Cisco 2960 switch, 2950 switch. Um, and this is an 1841. Uh, the 1841 supports uh, interface duplex and the switch doesn't. But newer switches, uh, they support it just fine. So. You also have to check for compatibility. Make sure that this OID is supported. Uh, you can use SNMP walk to confirm that that works. Um, or the uh, MIB file, uh, and you can just search to see if that file is uh, supported. Or that, sorry, the OID is supported, not the file. Okay, so we'll go to the 1841. And we'll give the new da data query, the duplex data query to this device. Okay. And create graphs. Now you see that there's a new data query for duplex. So there's only one port active here, which is the WAN with create. And now we should see a new graph so let me just log out log back in
There it is. Interface duplex. So this is how the OID works. Um, a value of three means a full duplex, two means half, and one means nothing or the port is down. So let's real time view this. We'll give it a few seconds here and we should start to see values come in. Okay, so there's a value of three. Perfect, so that's full duplex. So let's just uh, demonstrate how how this will change. So let me log in to my device here. And we'll switch this to half duplex. So we'll give it a moment here. I hope that actually, okay, so that port flapped, which is to be expected because I don't think you should ever do this in production or ever, but in the lab for testing, it's okay. And here we go, half duplex, we get a value of two. So now if I had thresholds, which in, in this little lab, I don't have uh, the thresholds plugin, but I can build a threshold based on this and alert right away saying, hey, this port is gone into half duplex mode. And then you can see that it's two and then let's change this back to duplex auto. I should expect my port maybe to bounce. Yes, it did ports back up and you'll notice uh, once the ports flap because we get a value of null um, briefly and then give it a few seconds more and we should have a value of three again so let's wait And there it is, three. So as you can see, um, to import the, the data templates and the usefulness of these uh, is, is pretty easy and can really extend um, the functionality. Like I have a few more, and again, these in, in, in an afternoon, you're able to write uh, as many as you need. Uh, they're, they're really simple. Here's an HSRP one that uh, built from the ground up, for example. Here's the hsrp.xml. Um, again, it's just two XML fields with the OIDs I'm interested in. And this uh, template does what uh, you think it does, is it monitors HSRP values. So I can see if uh, the primary router has gone into standby and the uh, standby router has gone into active, maybe something weird is going on, things like that. Uh, so, I may make a video uh, soon on how to create these. Uh, so, for example, the HSRP, that is you. You have to, um, uh, you have to write that yourself. The data templates and the graph templates, you can actually do in the Cacti GUI and export those. Um, and make the the template that way so it's pretty simple on that front the only kind of hard thing to do is to create the data query needed on the server level but um, other than that you can uh, really extend the functionality of cacti so I hope this video is helpful to you um, if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below Always feel free to email me, sean at seanmancini.com, and uh, visit my website, seanmancini.com. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you.